<laughs> I've literally not said a word <laughs> and giggles is already going. You can tell what kind of a day it's going to be. We did warn you yesterday, didn't we, when uh, other Debbie was here and you were saying she was Debbie Giggles number two. We've got the original with us uh, over the course of the rest of the day today. Literally haven't said anything and she's already laughing. <laughs> Welcome along to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby and we are here for, well, a brilliant afternoon of shows a little bit later on Creative Cravings, but we bring you a craft along. The award nominated craft along um, is here for the next couple of hours where if you've not seen this show before basically we take you through step by step uh, a brilliant demo well by the end of it you will have made yourself a project and we do this in real time as well if you watch our shows previously you'll, you'll know sometimes we will um, sort of do bits where we'll go oh here's the, the bit that I did earlier or I did this earlier this is all done in real time so you can craft along with us now here's the brilliant thing if you already have the collection in which we're going to be working with today which are the amazing uh, intro lace dies then hopefully you've seen on our social medias everything that you need to be able to craft along with us and you probably You've got everything set up uh, and you are probably ready to go if however uh, you haven't seen that this craft along will be available for you afterwards on YouTube and on Facebook as well uh, so you can craft along at your own leisure and indeed if you haven't got any of the goodies that we've got on the show we give you the ability to pick them up during the show and then you'll have the craft along to work with when you get these dies home as I said it's an amazing collection that we are going to be crafting with first time I've actually seen it physically in the studio and I cannot wait uh, to see what our Debbie has got up her sleeve. Uh, I know we've already seen you, but the lovely Debbie Fisher is here. How are you? I'm all right, Ben. It feels like ages since I've worked with you. Yeah, so, it does. Um, yeah, I don't know where the weeks go. They just pass us by. Uh, but you know what? I want to start a little bit differently because we normally start with what we're going to show. I just literally want to show you some of these samples and tell you where my head was at because uh, just looking at some of these samples, I had a look and I thought to myself, how can I compete with how amazing these are to do a craft along so I actually decided these are all from our design team I actually decided that I'm not going to compete we're just going to start from basics we're going to make a really beautiful card so this is the card we are going to make so I wow. thought I would just show you this we're going to be glittering we're going to be paper piecing uh, we're just going to be doing this spectacular card but we're keeping it simple and back to basics Ben. I am looking forward to that and of course you can pick up the whole bundle today as we've said they are stunning these collections and whether you are beginner whether you are more experienced we're going to go through it nice and slowly for you so you've got everything step by step but what will you need Debbie let's uh, take us through everything we're going to need for our craft along yeah so the first one we're using we're using the interlace dashing through the snow so that's your reindeer one and then you need some white stamping card or any A4 stamping card uh, I'm using some heavyweight acetate a sheet of A5 uh, we need your tape pen your tacky glue and also your fine tip applicator uh, which with your tacky glue inside we've also got some hunky dory glitters the holographic they are on the show but if you've got your own glitters feel free to use uh, we need a paintbrush some craft card and our glittering snowflake paper pad but obviously you can use whatever paper pad you a paper pad you have in your uh, collection and then the extra bits that we need to add we're going to use our seal brown water reactive ink uh, we're going to have some scissors guillotine and just some ribbon for decoration excellent stuff so that is everything that you will need if you haven't yet got all of the goodies we'll give you time uh, to quickly go and get all of those bits and pieces together whilst I run through this deal with you now it is phenomenal um, is this because we are combining this with our in for a penny in for a pound event if you don't know about this it is running through until the 15th of August where basically we bring you amazing bundles we bring you a great deal and then to kind of sweeten the deal even further we add something into the bundle for a penny and that is no different with your intralace die collection uh, because what you're going to get here are all six of these um, amazing dies uh, with the uh, dashing through the snow you've got the joyful Christmas tree you've got your uh, festive baubles the sweet candy canes the elegant um, bells there as well and the beautiful wreath so all of those included allowing you to create uh, those amazing creator cards uh, those amazing edge of balls all of the intricate detail that you would expect then on top of that 
for 1p, we are going to be throwing in uh, the amazing festive sentiment stamps. These sold out originally and uh, they're worth 9.99 or 12.95. However, we are bunging those into the deal for 1p. You already get 10% off the bundle. Those for a penny, that works out at unbelievable value for money. It's 86 pounds and 36 pence if you're platinum, $99.15 if you're shopping with us in the US. Uh, though, just to uh, clarify as well, there is another deal on the website where if you just want the dies, you can get those with a 15% discount. But uh, the majority of you have been going, hang on a minute, I'll have the 10% and I'll get the, 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 the stamp sentiments for a penny. Thank you very much indeed. The other thing to mention about this particular collection of course as well is free shipping if you're in the US free shipping on that as well so there's lots of reasons to go for this collection now with it being a craft along, if you are crafting along with us, we ask you at the end of the show to uh, send in your pictures. And the brilliant thing is as well, if you do kind of find, I think Debbie said this potentially won't take the full two hours. So there'll be plenty of time for you to send in your photographs. If we don't get time to show them in this show, we'll show them later on in Creative Cravings. But there's the email address below, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. But the reason why we love the craft along so much is because we get people to craft along with us. And I'm delighted to say we've got a crafter joining us from New Orleans uh, this afternoon here in the UK. Susie T joins us. How are you, Susie T? Hi, I'm good. How are you, Ben? Oh, brilliant to have you with us. And uh, you look like you're uh, ready and raring to go. You obviously absolutely love this collection, yeah? I do love this collection. I can't wait to get started. Amazing stuff. Uh, we are going to be catching up with you right throughout the uh, the show as well. I always like to have a look around everybody's um, craft room and I can see. Uh, yeah. Producer Johnny tells me that you've got an amazing craft room. He's worked with you before. My craft room is really just a craft area. It's the corner of the dining room. Oh, okay. Well, we should have a, uh, a good <laughs> look. Look at all the stuff that you got there to see. Your ink pads, you've got loads so of so totally stuff. And stuff. Take them back. That is amazing. <laughs> have you got everything you need and are you ready to go? I do. Well, let's get cracking then. So Susie T is uh, ready and raring to go. We shall check in with her uh, as we head through the show. Uh, Johnny and George, are you ready? They're ready. Uh, Debbie, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. If you're ready, uh, let's get started with our craft along. Where do we need to begin, Debbie? Yes, so we're going to start off with our sheet of A4 white cardstock. Uh, so we need to trim this piece of cardstock down. All I'm going to do is get my guillotine. We're going to just pull out my feet here. Uh, and what we need to do is trim this long side um, against uh, the seven and a half mark. So I'm just holding that against the seven and a half on my guillotine and we're trimming that side down and that's going to give us the uh, exact amount we need for our die to go along okay so that's the first bit nice and simple and like ben said earlier we're not uh, we've got plenty of time through the next couple of hours so if we are lucky enough we might even squeeze in another quick craft Whoa, along okay i know i'm being very naughty aren't i you doing are. that so uh, but um it means that everything that we use in this one you can use in the the next one but it just gives a slight variation so I'm gonna butt my cardstock up against here now for anyone that just if I, I know that Susie might be uh, the same anyone that needs to know the sizes of this cardstock it's 11 and 3 quarters by seven and a half okay. and then I'm going to at um, half of the cardstock so that's one increment before the six so five and seven eighths of an inch I'm gonna score that down the center and that's gonna give us our card blank so it couldn't be more simpler than that now I really wanted to do something that's simple enough for you to do every single day you could make one of these every single day Ben uh, up until Christmas yeah. and you'll have all your Christmas cards sorted Absolutely and right. you can use any one of the interlace dies so the one we're using we're going to start off and I've put it nicely uh, safe somewhere <laughs> so safe that <laughs> you can't, I can't it. find it. Oh, I do it every time. Every time, Ben, I have it and then it's gone. But if you lost the die? Yeah. Do you want to mine? I think I might have to. I had it in my hand, That honestly. is so weird, isn't it? Just disappeared. When... Someone's probably shouting, there it is, there it is. But uh, yeah, it really isn't here. Yeah, I'll How come over. I... That's me all over. Yes, thank I'm you, Ben. Over. Thank you, Ben. That's all right. So That's so start. weird, isn't it? It's really weird because I had it. I definitely had it. I did have it. It's not in. 
Is there, is it? No? no. Oh, I'm going to ruin this packet wow. now as well. There what a go. start. Bit of a false start. Susie, have you got, yeah, have you got yours? Yes, we have you yours. Check it over. <laughs> Oh, I can't get that. There you go. Oh, there we go. I can't believe it. Oh, look, that's been used. I know. It's been used. Where is it? I even cleaned it up. I cleaned, honestly. Where you dropped is it, it somewhere. No. That's so weird, isn't it? That is really weird. It's kind yeah. of just gone your tall, Ben, aren't you? It's the, um, it's the ghost of... Um, how strange. Right. <laughs> I'm to find it now. That's... Hey, riveting TV is this, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what you've no. done with it. Well... At least you get everyone to get their card blanks ready. Yeah. So what I am doing, it'll turn up because it can't, couldn't have gone far. Wow. <laughs> that is so me, honestly. If anyone's going to put something down, they will... Uh, I'm the sort of person that I'll end up putting like my glasses in the fridge. Oh, I've done that before. Yeah, and I just put my not keys even in there. think, yeah, that you've like, done it. And you have to retrace your steps. And you can't think, why well, on earth you even went to the fridge, let alone left your glasses in the fridge. Yeah. Uh, never mind. Right, so that's our clean dye. So there's a nice big tip there. Make sure uh, that you haven't thrown it in the bin, <laughs> have I? <laughs> How crap! There it is! Oh, it's there! there it, is. It, was in your, it was with the card that you showed earlier on. <laughs> Do you like that one back? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've done with the cards that I got. Now that all makes sense now, doesn't it? The cards <laughs> that I got out to show, that will teach me going rogue, won't it? <laughs> stick to the script, Debbie! <laughs> yeah, stick to the script, absolutely. <laughs> right, now what we're going to do is we're going to place this down to the bottom here. Uh, this will cut along, so if I show you here, it will cut to these top and the bottom parts. And actually, I'm going to put it in the middle, place it in the middle and just leave the sort of same amount of space. And we're taking this right up to the edge here. So we're going to take that and then we're going to take our low tack tape and tape that down. Now I'm using the uh, Gemini. You could use this in your uh, Gemini Junior, but you would need to um, wrap this around your plates because we've got a big, this would be the size of your Junior. Yeah. And you've still got then, you want to be able to take this piece out. So you could wrap that around your metal shim, but you might get an impression. So I would say if you've got an A4 machine, uh, use it in your A4 machine. So we're going to pop this onto our plates. Now for anyone that's crafting along for the first time or they've just got their Gemini, uh, we've got our cutting plate, our clear cutting plate uh, on the bottom. Then I'm using my plastic shim, my magnetic shim and my top plate and we're going to send that through our Gemini machine. Okay. Now these dies will work in, um, oh, need to switch it on, that will work. Uh, you could work, use them in any other die cutting machine, they're thin metal dies so uh, whatever die cutting machine that you've got. <laughs> Do you know what I love most of that is I was commenting and saying how uh, lovely Debbie looks today because she's got her glasses on for the first time. I just find it funny that she lost the die on the first day she's worn her glasses. <laughs> That's not that's not funny, Ben. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny, actually, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's wearing the glasses. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to wear them more and more because um, it is getting to the stage where I literally cannot see if I don't. Mm. So, um, and anyone that watched me on Creative Craft <laughs> last week, I was doing some colouring, uh, and it's terrible because it looks like I'm doing okay. Yeah. And then I looked up at our monitor uh, where you can see what you're doing because it's obviously big. I yeah. can see that and. And uh, my colouring was terrible. Was it all out of the lines? It was all outside the lines. Oh dear. Yeah, it was really, it yeah. was bad. It was bad. Right, so do not take that out of the die just yet because what we are going to do, we're going to emboss. Any bits that are already coming out, you can take them away. How fabulous are all these curls? You could use these, all these little swells. Look at these. I mean, really amazing detailed dies you've got there. So you could just keep them for another project. But we're going to emboss now. So with your embossing, you need just your rubber embossing mat. I've only got my Gemini Junior one to hand, but that's fine because it will fit onto there. Uh, and you just need to take out your magnetic shim and we're going to pop those through. So years ago, Ben, all our dies you could emboss and you could stencil through. Um, and then somewhere along the line of die cutting, uh, it just went away. We, they become more intricate and every detail was cut out. We've now started to put some of those details back in that emboss. 
uh, and they just make that extra little bit special and it means the pieces that emboss so if we look down here you can actually see I'm gonna do that to the light we could just see the emboss detail in uh -huh. here uh, and that means that when you stencil through that emboss detail so you can see where the deer is as well so if I do this on the other side we're going to leave this in the dye and we're going to bring in our seal brown so I've got our seal brown water reactive dye and we're going to bring in our little daubers you could just bring in any of your ink pads it really doesn't matter at this stage and all I want to do is add that detail where that embossed um, detail is going to go. Now, a lot of this, you'll see as we turn it over, is die cut. Yeah. So what you could do, you could knock all that, that detail out um, so you could see exactly where you want to emboss. So I'm going to do that so you can see exactly what I mean. So I'm going to take my die out. That will take out all our little pieces. Yeah. And also, it, your ink then won't go onto anything that it doesn't want to. I'm just going to knock this onto the side and then just take out those other pieces so it means when you then place it back in you can see exactly uh, where you can ink through so just place there's a few little bits there you can't see because they're um, they're white on white there's a few people saying they've lost dyes as well Junior saying I lose mine all the time and Crafty AJ saying it's the dye pixies uh, that you can blame <laughs> on. Gillette says, welcome to my world. I spend more time looking for something I just had than actually crafting. <laughs> uh, but Valerie says, yesterday I dropped three of my rings but could not look for them as I had an appointment at the dealership, came home, and there the three of them were right by my dining room chair. It's always oh, in the last place yeah. you look, isn't it, eh? Absolutely. Always in the last Absolutely. place you look. Absolutely. Yeah, it's terrible, isn't it? Yeah. I used to be re but in fact, um, I did have a um, my first Gemini that I had. It's, it was replaced. I used to actually cut. Do you know the magnetic sheets that you get? Yeah. I, I cut a strip off of those, and I used to put it on top of my Gemini, stuck it to the top of my Gemini. So any little dies I had, I used to just pop on the top of my Gemini. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, and it just used to sound there. And then when I replaced my Gemini, because it broke, I then, and, um, I forgot to do that again but it's just reminded me that's quite a nice idea to yeah. do that again just to stick a, a, a something ma um, magnetic on the top uh, and it really works because then you don't and then when you're ready to put them all back in the packet you just take them off the top of your machine yeah. right so you can see now where we place that back down you can see all that white space so we're going to then go in with our dauber and I'm just going to ink where our white is now this side here don't worry about that because you're going to be cutting that away um susan says can i use these on five by seven cards in the gemini junior five by seven on a Ge yes so what i was just saying about the gemini junior and i'll recap on that is um i've just realized we're going to cut this again in the uh, craft card but yeah. that's fine okay. um Yes, what you would have to do, and I'll show you as we take this one out, so you can see that detail on here looks stunning. That's but amazing. we are going to do this as a brown one, but we will do the same detail. Um, if you were doing this in a Gemini Junior, because your card, the whole card would fit into the Junior, the best way I would say to do it is to use your magnetic shim and pop that in like that uh -huh. and that way you can then put it through your junior so you can do it you would however need uh, a folder that doesn't have anything cut into it so really a new folder because it could create an indentation oh uh, okay but the indentation is fixable because you would just put your cardstock on both sides and it would hide it so you can definitely do it through a gemini junior Excellent stuff. Keep those questions coming as well as we head through the show. We will uh, ask our Debbie. Yeah, and if you get um, stuck at any point or if you, um, you get a little bit behind, feel free. We can always recap as we head through the show. That's what these craft alongs are all about, making sure that you can, uh, well, craft along. Absolutely. Now, all we're going to do now is we're going to snip on the bottom there and snip on the top, just where those lines are. So taking them completely away. So that will give us our beautiful detail coming down at the side. I mean, how incredibly stunning are these dies? So incredible. Really beautiful. Mm. Right, so our next thing we're going to do is take our craft card and we're going to cut that again. But this time, we really only want it to be our actual main deer is our focus. So we're going to just pop our card across like that and then I'm just going to cut that down. 
So really you're just cutting out a piece of your craft card that you can and put that the right way as well and just make sure you don't need the antlers because the antlers are what we're going to glue through um, but we do need uh, the actual deer with his ears and all this bit here sort of coming down here so this is where you would put it in uh, now you can then use your Gemini Junior for that because obviously it will uh, be perfect for um, perfectly sized for your Gemini Junior brilliant so just pop in all my plates back in and cutting that one, let's turn these over. I got myself a new cutting ball because the other one we had was rather um, badly what? used. Oh, really? <laughs> Not badly used. It was um, used a lot. It was very worn. What yes, a worn. lot, a lot, a lot. Right. It does get to the the stage where they get quite worn. But um, when you think about ours, how much they're used you in the studio day every day out. single day, yes, yeah. seven days a week, and between shows, we're literally doing lots of stuff between shows. Um, but uh, so I got a new one but I didn't replace both because you can see this one although it's well used and well worn uh, it's still got lots of cutting left how do you know though uh, you'll start to find your balls will warp a little bit more um, and then they don't cut as well as right. what they should do. Okay. So, uh, And then you just know to uh, to do that. So, and can you see, Ben, look how my board has gone. This is a new board. It's gone a little bit. If we sort of look at that there, you can see it's starting to turn. Yeah. All I'm going to do is turn it around the opposite way and then we're going to emboss this piece. I love it on the new board as well because you can see the indentation of the first dies yes, that go through I know, as well. Yes, I know. It's great, just isn't it? <laughs> Pleases me a little bit. Absolutely, I don't know why. Little yeah, things, eh? absolutely love that. So all we're going to do before we do any more, we're going to emboss this and do exactly the same with the inking, uh, and then I think we're going to go back to Ben just for a little break and let you all catch up with that stage. Yes. Um, Mary just saying, I keep a small magnetic bowl on my table for dies as I take them out of the Gemini. Um, it works on my pokey tool too. Great idea, saves losing all your bits and pieces. If you were watching over the last couple of days, you'll know that um, Debbie Robinson's obviously tidied out her uh, craft room and the amount of bits and pieces that she found uh, that she thought she'd lost because she doesn't, you know, put stuff back and they get lost in the craft room. Uh, unbelievable. Did you um, hear today how many uh, paper pads that Debbie has got as well? Did no. You take, uh, 245. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Wow, that's, that is mad. Oh, yeah, dear. that's mad. Right, we're going to do just a little bit of inking. 245. Yeah, and she oh gave 45 goodness. away to charity, so now she's got 200. So, and actually, I, um, I had lots of paper pads. I don't know how many, quite probably on the ball with that, but I gave a lot of ours to the school before lockdown. Mm. Um, so we, uh, yeah, I just gave loads to the schools to use because they do lots of clubs and things. That's a nice idea. So all I'm doing here is going round and doing that extra embossing. Uh, I don't need it round there, just the ears, uh, the eyes, the nose I'm not worried about because we're going to do that. Uh, and probably just this piece here. So there we go. And that's all you need to do because those ones will all come out. So we pull that out. We've then got our deer, but I'm going to stop there just to let you all cut, catch up with those stages. So you should by now have your uh, main cutout one and your craft card one, and we will snip that out and uh, do that in a little while. There we go. Let's give you a little bit of time to catch up if you need that time, or maybe you just want to go and uh, get yourself a quick drink, whatever it might be. Um, the the bundle obviously includes that gorgeous reindeer which is called dashing through the snow but i just wanted to show you all of the uh, different designs that you're going to get within this collection and again what i love about this so much is that if you are thinking about purchasing this as a first purchase then actually you know something as simple as you know popping this through your die cut machine adding a bit of color you've got yourself an absolutely beautiful card uh, and, and that's what this is all about the intricacy of detail that you get that lace effect with these two uh, but look at that so so simple to achieve in its simplest form something so stunning um, you've got your elegant baubles in there uh, this one I think Craig said was his favourite uh, a little bit earlier on, the sweet candy canes. Again, hopefully you can just appreciate the detailing of the candy canes in there, the ribbon, and then almost all of that sort of stitching detail in there too. There's so much to love about these. Uh, and again, you know, if you're watching Craig earlier on, talking about uh, potentially using some of these for doing um, like your paper piecing as well. This one here is your um, festive bells. But once again, do you know what? A lot of these, I suppose, are um, Christmas focused, but things like the bells, for example, 
uh, dies that you could use all year round. Maybe you're thinking about making uh, wedding cards, those kind of things, celebratory cards. This one, I think, potentially my favourite because, again, look at the detail that you've got in your joyful Christmas tree. There is just so much in there um, from all of the snowflakes and the detailing and the stars and the, um, the tinsel on that Christmas tree as well. Uh, like the engineering that goes into each and every one of these dies is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and of course, you are just going to reap the rewards of all of this. And then this is the one that we're using right now, of course, uh, the beautiful dashing through the snow, that amazing uh, reindeer, super stunning. And if you want even more detail, take a look at that one. Uh, this one here is your beautiful wreath. Again, just absolutely stunning. So much detail, so much to love. Uh, as we're back to those festive baubles. You're going to get all of those included within the collection today if you jump for the uh, deal that we've got on the screen. As well as that, we are, of course, also giving you... Uh, uh, <laughs> too quick for me then, I was going to bring it over. Uh, you've also got your stamps in there as well, so 19 uh, of your beautiful festive stamps included. When we originally had that bundle, those are worth 9 99 or 12 95 We've thrown those in today in our in for a penny, in for a pound deal for one P. This whole bundle as well, you're going to get with free shipping. Um, so it is the bundle to go for. There's a different bundle on our website if you want to grab that one. Uh, it doesn't come with the stamps though. It doesn't come with the free shipping. This one does. 86.36, 99.15, one P stamps and the free shipping of course as well. It's a brilliant time to jump in and uh, get it because of course you've got this craft along uh, to work with as well once you get it home. Now, on top of that, just a few other deals that we wanted to throw your way uh, as far as our uh, in for a penny, in for a pound deals are concerned. Twas the night before Christmas, potentially one of the biggest launches, well, say potentially, it was one of the biggest launches that we have done uh, this year. We've got the um, paper pad collection, uh, and this is absolutely stunning. If you need to top up, uh, now is the time to do it, but also I think this is gonna work perfectly with the dies that we've got on the show. You've got a mixture in here, of your mirror card you've got your glitter card in here too but take a look at the colors absolutely amazing all of your Christmas colors you've got some of your pearl card in there you've got your glitter card in there too as I say uh, but look at that absolutely stunning that one comes with that 24 sheets, a mix of colours and a mix of your different cardstock included in there as well. On top of that, we're going to give you your uh, 24 pack of luxury pearl card. Again, this comes double sided with the colours that will match perfectly with any of your Christmas makes. But those two pads, of course, work beautifully together as far as those colour palettes are concerned. Uh, that one is at 250 GSM. So you get those two and then for a penny, we're going to give you the six by six pattern paper pad and this is stunning this is a uh, a complete mini version of the 12 by 12 that we've got um in fact that one has sold out so if you love the six by six you can get it i can't believe that we're actually doing this for a penny when you think we launched this probably what two three weeks ago something like that this is stunning as well because you've got some really really beautiful scenes on here you've got some lovely pattern papers as well and you've got flex of foiling included too um our debbie um did you see this for the first time earlier on didn't you i think you were flicking through I've and seen it yeah before. you got your eyes yeah, on this yeah i loved you? it absolutely all of it in fact that 12 by 12 the luxury one i thought the glitter cardstock was like our other glitter and it's not it's like a pearlized glitter it's amazing but look at those papers they're incredible um that is what you're getting for one p within the bundle 21 pounds 59 or 28 dollars 74 uh, if you want to add that into your collection and as i say if you have bought this collection already you're running out of paper pads grab this now because we know uh, that the 12 by 12 pattern paper pad has already sold out uh, you can still get these and why not grab them today uh, to get that little mini pad for a penny 21 pound 59 or 28 dollars 74 uh, keep the questions coming in if there's anything that you want to ask debbie um if there's anything that you want to uh, sort of show again we can get those questions answered for you as well uh Facebook and YouTube, of course, is where you need to be um, commenting. And Sarah Brown is saying, oh, I got these uh, towards the night before Christmas collection. I absolutely love it and I can't wait to use it. Now, I can see uh, in my monitor just over there that uh, Susie T is busying away uh, in her uh, craft room. I love this because it's got like a spinny, a spinny chair. 
uh, where she can uh, spin round. Here we go. You see it over. She spins round to one side, then spins round to another side. You've got this worked out, Susie T. Are you, like, so you've got a desk there in front of us and a desk behind you as well, have you? Oh, oh, we've lost her sound, unfortunately. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. What were you saying? Sorry. <laughs> I'm just to have a look at your craft room. You, you've got so so that is not a room as such. Did you say? Is that off the back of the dining room? This is half of the dining room. Yeah. Wow. Um, and so I can... this would be my dining room table. It's a craft table instead. And, and and that is there all the time, right? You don't pack that down every day and then start again, do you not? Wow, amazing. <laughs> um, and what about this collection? Obviously, uh, you're enjoying the craft along. Why did you particularly uh, jump in and grab this collection? What was it that struck you about it? I love creative cards. I have all of Stratos Companion's creative cards. They're beautiful. They make really fast cards. They're just gorgeous. Yeah, they are. Absolutely. And they're so easy to work with as well, aren't they? Yes, absolutely. Have you been them um, crafting for quite a long time? Or uh, what's your sort of crafting story? Yeah. Um, needle crafting before that. My mom was a quilter. Oh, fine. And so taught me how to crochet and, and all that good stuff. So crafting is sort of uh, is sort of in the family, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, brilliant! Well, lovely so much that you're enjoying the craft along, and uh, you're up to the point that Debbie's up to already. Yes. I'm a little behind because I got ink all over the white card, so I had to make a new. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we'll give you a little bit more time uh, and give everybody time to catch up as well. But uh, keep going. If you're crafting along with us as well, uh, don't forget, of course, you can let us know. Just let me know in the comments if you are crafting and we'll look out for all of your uh, pictures uh, towards the end of the show as well. Uh, Dana Glasses says on YouTube, hello all, joining late from Hazy, Colorado. Um, I'll watch back later uh, to create. I love these dyes. Um, and as I say, if you aren't managing to craft along right now, but you've got these dies, this show will be available for you uh, on uh, YouTube, our Facebook page as well, so you can craft along uh, to your heart's content um, at a time that suits you as well. Nice, isn't it, that we give you these collections and then all of the tutorials uh, to go with it. Right, back over to Debbie, and uh, I think we're ready to move on to the next section yeah I was thinking though because Susie's just that little bit behind let's just recap from the beginning uh, so you can uh, get up to uh, where we're at so the first thing you're going to need is a piece of let me just grab a piece of our stamping card so a nice piece of our stamping card or white card so this is 11 and three quarter inches you want to then trim this side down to seven and a half inches yeah and that will give you the size of your card you're then going to to score in the center at five and six five and seven eighths of an inch that will give you your card blank you're then going to use whichever die I mean I'm using this one you can use the style of this card is the same for whatever dies that you use I'm using the beautiful reindeer uh, cut that into your card stock then what you're going to do is get a piece of craft card now hopefully this is where uh, Susie is up to so we're going to die cut our craft card again so you can see how we do that because we did rush that bit before just to give you all that chance and it just gives you that extra uh, chance to cut up uh, to catch up sorry uh, and we're going to then just pass that through so as that's cut in what we're then going to be doing is thinking about inking through that die so I see Susie T had a little dauber on her finger yes. so I think she must be at the stage where she's inking through um, so once you get to that stage let's bring this in we're going to just ink through those uh, pieces. I'm going to bring this one back in. So even though we've cut this one out, you get this shape and then you can use your, um, once we've, you've got rid of all your bits out of your die, if you place this then back in, you get that beautiful um, space where you can actually ink through. Now, because we're using craft brown, we're using our seal brown in our water reactive ink pads. Uh, if you wanted to do it a little bit more luxurious, you could always use the pigment ink pads oh, yes. uh, and heat emboss. Um, because then you'd have like a shiny brow on your uh, reindeer which uh -huh. would be incredible 
So just inking them through, then you'd have these pieces that are inked up there. Yeah. I'm just going to ink that. I'm doing myself too because, um, not that because I need to, but I'm doing it because I want you to see uh, where we're cutting. Uh, and then if I need to recap, I just thought that would be a nice way to recap to have an extra one. So I'm going to bring these in. Let me get rid of all my workings. Uh, and we're going to take our little snips. So we're going to snip away. So uh, watch first and then I'll repeat it. That'll be the best way, I think. Okay. Um, and only because, so I'm going to snip straight up to this piece and take that bit out. Uh, most of you wouldn't have even cut any of this. So I'm just going to take that away because we don't need any of that either. Now, where your actual design is, what we're going to do is cut around. So where his ear is, we're going to cut over that. So just following that line, over the top so it just gives us his sort of headpiece there and we're going to follow to the next die cut so you can see across here and then we are just going to go around around this bit to that next die cut so it gives him that sort of head headpiece here yeah so just and you can tidy that up as you go around we're then going to cut into his ear so cut this bit so, and then have this off. Now remember, everything else, oh, I didn't mean, to, no, that's where, see, that's where I shouldn't have done that bit. done. It doesn't matter, so keep that bit intact uh -huh. because we're gonna cut round this I knew that would happen, that's why I needed another one. You, we're gonna cut his ear, can you see? I've actually cut his ear off. Oh! Uh, yeah, so if you've done that, don't worry, oh dear. because we're gonna paper piece it, and it'll yep. be fine. We're gonna leave this swell in his ear, but then we're gonna come down and cut around, so it just looks like he has that ear. So cutting that down to there, and then we're just gonna snip that next piece off because that will take that all away. Got you. Okay, and then with this bit, all we're gonna do is come around here. So just around and over there. So that brings out our deer. So you can see, even if you snip that bit off like I did, <laughs> that will stick back down because, um, let me bring in this one, it will stick completely over the top here. Oh, I see. So let's pop him on, pop that there. Yeah, and when you push that down, that will all just, you won't even notice that ear there. Can yeah. you see? So uh -huh. snipping that there. So we'll do the next one just in case anybody uh, needs to recap on that and hasn't done it. So snip this piece off. And then we're going to go round his ears and then round this section here. But this time we're going to leave this piece intact, move those bits out of the way. In fact, where was that uh, sheet of card? Because that would really help for you to see it, wouldn't it? Underneath, there we go, that's much better. Then you can see his ear. I think if I'd seen the ear, then I would have realised before I snipped. You should put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it bad when I'm doing all these mistakes and I've actually got my glasses on? I just think it's I've funny. I've got nothing to blame it. No, anyway. well, I know the first day that you put your glasses on, like snipping, snipping ears off, losing dice, just take them off again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to cut around that bit there. So you'll end up with your reindeer looking like that. Brilliant. Okay. So, and I'm going to go ahead with um, this one because I know I snipped it, but also I wanted a little bit left at the bottom so we can line that up against our card. So when we put that over the top, we've got that bit and then we can then cut our end off to the shape of our card. But first of all, we're going to put this to one side because the next thing we're going to do, we're going to use our acetate to put behind here. So I'm going to bring in my sheet of acetate. Now, just in case anybody doesn't know, if you've got our construction acetate, it does come with yeah. a protective film, which a lot of people don't know. So uh, take that off. All you need to do is sort of scratch the side with your nail or a little pokey tool, and it will just bring that, that off the top. And you just get the most perfect acetate then, which is great. Yes. So, and the only reason I always tell people that, Ben, is because uh, I've done it myself. I've actually stuck things on before. Well, it's funny that I feel like we're mentioning that, and it probably is you mentioning it a lot more nowadays, but we had someone make a uh, question about that the other day as well, actually. Oh, that, um, okay. They, 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 they couldn't work out why the estate didn't look quite as it should, and it was because of the, that, because that, of that sheet. Yeah, mm. absolutely. So, I prefer to uh, stick and then trim off because I think you get that more accurate. Uh, with this bit here, we're going to bring 
bring in our tape pen, but I'm also going to bring in my normal tape pen as well. So from the side here, I'm going to go down and just do that strip going down the side so we know that that will stick onto our acetate. And then I want to fill this bit. I'm going to turn it just the other way so I can uh, do it with my right hand. We're going to fill this piece with our dotty tape pen. So just going across all the way because I do want this all to be stuck down because we're going to do some nice glittering in between. If you do have some little parts that um, are sticking up, just be gentle when you're going over the top, like these side pieces. And just pop that glue all over. Oh, I heard the news this morning, Ben. What news? We're going to get a shortage of tape pens. What? Yes. Yeah, we're not actually expecting any in until the end of September. Whoa! Was that on the actual news, was it? Yeah, it was on an email. Oh, <laughs> is this the way you said it? I heard the news today. Well, and finally. It was, it was news for Crafters Companion, oh, yes. Oh, no. So, um, yeah, we're having to uh, take pens off of bundles that we've been doing. Oh, no. Yeah, because uh, we've... Uh, and they're not expecting them in until the end of September. It was about this time last year, wasn't it? Because I'm sure when I it, joined, when I joined, we, did, we hardly had any of them. Yeah, And there was a mass was. rush as soon as they, uh, as soon oh, as they came in. Yeah, because we know. were struggling, because we hardly had any in the studio, did we? You we, got, sorry. we had like, hardly had any here, and we, I remember we were like using them sparingly. Oh, I know, and people any. were hiding them. Joe had a secret stash. Yeah, it was it was quite bad. Oh. So I don't want to yeah um, scare anyone, but if that is going to be the case, uh, you want to stock up on your tape pens. That's for sure. Cue mad panic rush to the website now. For the tape pens, <laughs> it's, a, it's incredible, isn't it? So I'm just holding this into place along one edge, and then I'm going to just fold this over still holding my acetate until I know that my hand is securely in place to pop all that down. Now what I want to do before I do anything else because I want to make sure this is all stuck so I'm going to turn it back over onto the inside and then I'm going to use my uh, tool to go down over the top and what that will do that will make sure that all our um, uh, adhesive will stick exactly where it should be sticking. Yes. Um, just to talk about the acetate as well, Marge said, is that plastic overlay on both sides of the acetate or is it just on the one just side? Just on one side. Okay. Yeah, just on one side. And you will be able to see the difference. You don't spot it straight away. And then afterwards you think, oh, actually, it's not as clear as I thought it was. Um, and, and that's the reason why. So you just need to take that off. Okay. Now, if you did want to hide all your markings here, I mean, you can't see much of the tape. But if you did want to, all you need to do is die cut this out again, but then put it on the reverse and then that way you can stick that directly to it and all you would get is a nice beautiful um, reindeer on the inside of your card. If you're getting mucky uh, paw prints on yours, don't worry, we're going to be covering that as well. So don't worry about that. Mm, and then all we're going to do is this bit here, we're going to trim down. Okay. So cut this to the size. So I always think this, you can either do this on the guillotine or just do it by eye. And there we go. So that gives us our acetate front. Now, then what we want to do next, if before we stick this down, because we are going to stick this into place, but it's actually easier to do your uh, sticking, so your, um, uh, do your sticking of your glitter before you put this down. Okay. So we're going to leave that. So before we go on to doing the glitter, I'm going to let everybody catch up with that. We're sticking their acetate down uh, and then we will do the big fun glittery part. Yes. Oh, I love the big fun glittery part. <laughs> um, thank you for all the lovely comments coming in. What was that all about then? Um, <laughs> just hands. Channeling my inner Sarah. <sighs> um, uh, tape pen says uh, Deborah. No, not Tommy Cooper. No, Tommy Cooper says ha ha ha. Zzz, 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 zzz. In what? the green room, there's a Tommy Cooper. Oh, there is a long and boring story behind oh, the Tommy Cooper hamster. I would, I'll tell you, uh, the break's not long enough. 
Uh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you the story in our break between um, five and seven, and I'll show you the video that accompanies that as well. Ah. Um, Deborah says, I'm glad that I keep a big supply of tape pens always on hand. Yes, if you stock up on tape pens, there you go. Uh, <laughs> grab it now. <laughs> There's a stampede towards the website now. Oh, for the big news. <laughs> You'll be fine. To say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> Joe's just gone, so I'm strictly, no, not that big news. <laughs> the fact that we're running out of tape pens. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Oh dear. Yes, bigger news than Strictly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> crafters, where's our tape pens? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, if you want to get this collection, a few of you I know have already uh, jumped in and grabbed this on the show right now. What a great time to get it because, um, as we say, it's it's a new collection, right? It's, it's one um, that we're absolutely loving, that you're loving as well. And when we did have it previously, the stamp set that you're going to get with it wasn't at a penny, but that's what you're paying for it today. Uh, you're going to get all six of these amazing interlace uh, festive dies. You're going to get the festive sentiments included in there as well, of which there are 19, and those are a penny. They're worth 9 99 or 12 95 uh, If you're shopping with us in the US as well, free shipping too on this bundle, which then of course means if you're popping anything else into your basket, uh, that's free shipping too. So if you want to add things in like Twas the Night Before Christmas collection, which we showed you, uh, we've got other goodies on the show as well uh, you can uh, take advantage of that free shipping but listen these are so so stunning the level of detail the intricacy that you've got here uh, the clues in the name is absolutely phenomenal uh, from the festive baubles uh, to the sweet candy canes there's so much to love about these and you're just getting a bit of a hint I think actually as to how creative you can be with these and even as we said you know if you're just going to run these through the um, die cutting machine adding a bit of color adding a sentiment straight away you have still got something which is more than eye-catching just simply because of all of the detail in the designs of the dies that you've got uh, that one is the one we're using of course the dashing through the snow but there's plenty to love uh, right through this collection that beautiful wreath is just packed full of intricate detail uh, and there we are back to those baubles again as well it's 86 pounds 36 if you're platinum 99 dollars 15 if you're shopping with us in the us plus that free shipping as well let's give you time to get your baskets checked out if you are waiting for a pause in the show uh, here comes that pause any more questions as well you can get those in and we'll come back with the next section of our craft along after this had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. 
You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Um, Rosora on Facebook. What a lovely name, Rosora. Um, I bought the candy cane and the bells. So uh, four out of six, Mr. Reindeer, got to get it too. If you want to uh, make up your own collections or if you bought some originally and you now decide you want to get more, you can buy on a multi-buy, two for 35 or 40. Uh, so that is another way, again, if you can't stretch the, uh, the full amount today or if you just want to dip your toe in the water, maybe you just want to go for the um, dashing through the snow so that you can recreate uh, this craft along. There are plenty of ways for you to be able to do it. Check the website, $19.99 each or $22.95 if you want to go individually. Um, hopefully we're going at a pace. I have um, not seen anyone going, oh, we need to slow down. So hopefully everyone is up with us. Uh, Khaki Blue on uh, YouTube does just say, Debbie, what size did you cut that acetate, please? Uh, A5 sheet of acetate. Uh, I literally just popped it in my card and cut the bottom off to size. But if it did want an accurate uh, reading, it would be seven and a half uh, to, for, for your five and a I'm just going to measure it. So it's <laughs> it's five and seven eighths of an inch by six and a half. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, do you know what, Ben? What I love about these, I've never, it's very rare a collection comes along where every single one of them you want to use. Yeah. I love every single design in this collection. Uh, they're so pretty, so intricate, hence the name, interlace. Yeah. Uh, but really, you will use every single one of them and create your Christmas cards year after year after year. I just can't believe, I said it earlier on, that the level of detailing that you've got in, each die uh, and the engineering that must have gone into these and you know and as we said even if you're not like the most experienced of crafters just a simple like mm -hmm. die cut a bit of colour oh yeah um, add a sentiment mm -hmm. you've got an Done. absolutely stunning card yeah. anyway haven't you yeah absolutely uh, uh, and any age group can do this and look professional yeah so whether it's your sort of teenage children that want to send Christmas cards or it's your um, your grandparent that wants to do them it literally is that one die through the machine nice bit of uh, colour card underneath sentiment and you're done yeah exactly I mean it's exactly that and we don't want to take anything away from how gorgeous these d designs are but actually when you think of how easy they are and then you can then if you are an advanced crafter take it to this next level which we're going to do now so the first thing we're going to do Ben we're going to bring in some glitters now I've used the hunky dory glitters because I absolutely adore these I almost feel like I've got my little chemistry set back in oh uh, yeah because they have these lovely little vials to of glitter they're really ultra fine and you just get so many gorgeous uh, colors so I've just got an array of all different colors uh, you can use all the same if you want you can use whatever colors you've got in your stash you will need however one of your little uh, tacky glue bottles I've just popped my tacky glue in there uh, I keep it in my little Gloria I call them a Gloria the glue booth <laughs> so anybody that does want to make one all it is is the top of a water bottle and it holds your glue really well and it means when you're doing gluing like this, you can take your pin out. So always clean your pin. It's tacky glue. It's not going to, it's water-based. It won't harm your fingers. If you do have sensitive fingers, just use a tissue. I'm going to pop that back inside. So pop that in there. Uh, and it means because I'm gluing little areas at a time, I can then pop that back. And if I push it right to the bottom, there's a piece of sellotape on the bottom. So it will stop it leaking out and seal it before it's ready to use again. So don't don't have to keep putting the pin back. I could do with a new bit of sellotape because it's not as sticky because it does, it's supposed to hold your pin underneath. Yeah. Um, so I've just put my pin onto there. Brilliant. So what we're going to do first, we're going to pick some of the bigger areas to do. So I'm going to sort of pick these swirly, um, sort of swirly horns if you like. Uh, and we're going to start sort of at the top. And all I'm going to do is use my tacky glue to dab in. So you just flood in that area with your glue. So this is the bit that's a little bit time consuming, but it's such a nice thing to do because mm. it works really well. Um, if you want to get the glitters, by the way, those uh, are available for you on our website. If you check the website, uh, you'll find a whole range of um, different colors. We've got lots of the glitter in stock. 
phone can't be said for those tape pens. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, if you want to uh, have a little peruse of the website, uh, check out all of those uh, different glitters. I love the little diddy pots that they come in. Oh, they're so well. lovely. They're I thought they were on the show, to be honest, so I do apologise. But um, yes, you will find them on the website. Now, you can pick as much or as little as you want to do. Yeah. I'm just doing the area of one colour first. So I'm doing all my sort of swirly horns, that one colour. Yeah. I'm just making sure that as I go round, I'm getting into all of the, um, to the gaps around the edges. And like you said, it's such a lovely collection. I, I, I look at this, you know, again, from a bit of a, uh, an, a novice's standpoint. And you think, I know you mentioned this earlier on, that if you're more experienced, you'll think of different ways to go with this. But I think, again, this is the kind of collection that you'll get such joy out of using for the first time as maybe a bit of a newbie because you'll get such a brilliant image that you can, you know, just add a little sentiment with and, and then away you go. Yeah. Uh, but then because you'll get something so good the first time, it will then maybe encourage you to try other things, come back to us uh, and pick up more hints and tips as well. If you are going for the full collection today too, I would say that the um, Twas the Night Before Christmas uh, paper and card collection that we've got as well, that is a perfect partner to go with this because the, um, the colours that you're going to get with that lend themselves beautifully to this collection because it's all like Christmas colours and you've got the mirror card in there, you've got the glitter card in there as well. Um, and that's what you want, isn't it? You want the shiny, you want the sparkly, you want the, the glittery uh, and the magic of Christmas and, and, and certainly a bit of glitter like we're seeing here. Get that in your cart. Uh, and if you want to go for that collection as well, details on your screen now, you will pick up the smaller six by six pad uh, for just a penny as well. And let's be honest with this, it's not as if we're giving you know something away which we've had in stock for like three or four years for a penny. It was the night before Christmas collection literally launched. I lose track of time, but it was about three weeks ago and we're giving away elements of it for a penny. Bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. So what we're going to do, now we've done that bigger area, I'm just going to tip that over the top there and pop that down. Making sure that all of that taps off. Uh, and this is where your brush then comes in handy because you'll notice that I said that there was a brush. Uh, you needed a brush. If you pick some of these up and just tap in so I can see where I've sort of, some have come off there. And then you can use this. I'm going to pop the rest of this back in my pot. Yeah. So just keeping it all the time. So it's just that little bit. It's just worth taking that bit of time and popping that back into your little pot. Barbara says, just to check, are you putting the glue on the acetate? Yes. So through to the acetate, yes. Yep. Good so question. let's bring that in and all I'm then going to do is just out of the where um, all the little pieces are where I don't want it, where I still want to go in for some glue. So I'm going to bring my card back in. You just want to use your brush to brush them out. Now when it's fully dry, all those pieces will just brush away. So don't worry if at the moment you're finding that they're static and they're just sticking everywhere. It will all, once it's all dry, you will give it a good tap and a blow, but you don't want to do that until your glue has dried. Okay, so that's our first bit. Then we're going to do our other side of our antlers because that's our then next uh, biggest step. So bring in these ones in. Are you going with the same colour? Yep, same oh, colour. Okay. Yep, same colour. So we're going to pop this glue and start gluing round the edges. This is really therapeutic. Yeah. It's something really nice to do. It's a little bit different to your general paper piecing, but it gives a really beautiful design. Yeah. And obviously, this is the cards you want to save for the special people in your lives. Oh, yes. You know, the kind of... That would appreciate... The kind of bends it. in your life, Absolutely you know. Absolutely Those kind of special... I had you in mind, see? The I know. stag at Christmas time. <laughs> 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 oh, you saw the stag cart? I thought you were saying I was the stag oh, at yeah, Christmas no, time. Oh, yeah, I was. Oh, you are? Yeah, you're the stag at Christmas time, <laughs> see? Yeah. I don't know whether to say that as a compliment or not, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think a stag's yeah. a compliment. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Do you not think? I think well, I don't know. Um, I've never been called a stag before, but I think, you I know. think a stag re represents, like, big and strong. Powerful. And powerful, yeah, absolutely. Manly. <laughs> Have you been called a grumpy badger before, Ben? <laughs> Johnny just said when oh. Johnny went, better than being called a grumpy badger. Oh, I don't think I've ever Johnny's been called. Johnny's been called a grumpy badger. He's been called Winnie the oh, Pig before. Oh, I can before, see that. I says. can see that, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh my God, goodness, that I, is, yeah, Johnny. I think Winnie the Pooh's quite nice, Johnny. I think that's quite, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get <laughs> nice and huggable. <laughs> nice and lovable, yeah, he just gets along with stuff, you know. And huggable. And huggable. <laughs> Always gets his head stuck in honey pots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, yeah, he hasn't got his legs out today. I had a bit of a shock when I came in. Ah, oh, no! My eyes! Bless him, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, we need a just to, <laughs> just <laughs> grumpy badger. Um, just to, uh, a few people are asking about the glitter that you're using. Can you just recap on um, your your choice of glitter on the sh this uh, particular demo? Uh, I can't I can't remember which set it was, but it's the hunky dory. It comes in these big sets. Um, in fact, I'll bring this one and this isn't, I've used one out of here, but they come in these big sets. They're the Diamond Sparkle Glitter. Uh, yes. You get 12 little mini jars in them, which yep. are amazing. The one I've got, which I'm using, I haven't got the tab for. As you can see, mine is well used and well loved, uh, but it's got all the different multicolours in there. I did put it on my list at the beginning, yeah. so it should be. Let me just have a look if I've got it. Hang on. So um, oh, Johnny's just checking the yeah the web because there's uh, there's a few of them have actually gone. So he's just seeing what we have actually got left, and yeah, we can um, potentially give you the details. Down. But if you have a look on the website, you'll be able to match up uh, hopefully the yes, the colours yeah. that, uh, that that Debbie's using on this particular. But the, but the great thing again is, I mean, if you yes, if you do want to copy it, you know, point for point, then you will need the exact colours. But you choose the colours that you know you want to use. You choose the glitters that you know you want to use um, with this. Make it the most extravagant uh, reindeer ever. Absolutely. Um. So this, it doesn't say the colours on the jars, but I've got a feeling it might be the Essentials collection. Okay. Yeah, I do apologise. Um, the Essentials Collection is in stock, um, which is good news. That's $20.99. And honestly, they're such good value. Yeah. Maybe it seems like a lot to pay out for your glitters, but they are going to last you a long, long time. Well, that's it again, because you, you always think it's th like things with like the glitters and the embossing powders. You look at the size of the little jar that you get them in, and you think, yeah. well, that's not very much. But Point then actually, loads. once you apply them, you see yeah. how much is actually used and then how much you put back in the pot. They yeah. last a long, long time. They do last a long time, absolutely. I mean, this one I've been using for ages and I'm not even a quarter through it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, really good little one. So, just pop in, fill in the gaps now with the next one. And like I say, you just choose. We're not going to do tons of it, but we're just going to do enough to make it really look beautiful and sparkly. Yeah. And anyone that knows me loves knows I love my glitters. Oh yes. Love a bit of sparkle. I love our glitter paper. But that's why I was drawn to that. Twas the night before I know. Christmas. But wouldn't that be perfect with this oh, as well? Oh, it would be amazing. It's so amazing. So I'm just going to tap off the excess again, and then pop those then I'm all I'm going to do again I'm going to bring in the um, brush and only because I want to take the glitters out so what happens especially with acetate and actually what I should have done thinking about it now Ben is um, used a um, uh, oh what they call oh, an anti-static anti bag. bag yes because then it wouldn't get all caught and only because I don't want to waste the glitter mm. uh, so because when I start gluing into all these pieces you obviously uh, you've lost your glitter then so make sure you get as much of your glitter out as possible just so you can then go in and glitter the rest right so now because this is ultra fine as well again it does stick to your card so again it'd be worth using your anti-static bag uh, to pot put it back in yeah and actually i'm going to use my brush to go in there just so that will all go down into the pot there we go yeah and you can see again how much of that has gone back in so that's the value for money right oh there. absolutely yeah don't lose any of the glitter because it is amazing 
Right, so pop in that to the side and then pop the lid on because I know what I'm like. I will end up having it everywhere. And then our next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the red. So I'm going to bring in that beautiful red colour. Oh, and Lois says a bunch of red glitter on the nose would be great. Is that what you're doing? That's what we're going to do. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Well done, Lois. Well guessed, Lois. So we've got our red glitter now. So I'm going to go in and actually do Rudolph with yep. all the red. So uh, we're going to do his ears. Rudolph the red oh, reindeer had a very shiny nose. Oh, yeah, shiny glittering. And if you know, oh yeah, by the way, in case wow. you know, producer Johnny has got his Christmas got countdown, his countdown going down. on. 19 Mondays to Christmas. Oh, I love that. Is that actually, so Christmas Day is on a Monday, is that what you're saying? Or 19 more Mondays to go? It's 100, we did it the other day with um, Debbie, it was 137 sleeps, I think, till Christmas. So it's obviously now, I think it's 135 sleeps till Christmas. Uh, yeah, which would work out about right, wow. wouldn't it, I think? Dear, oh dear. Where's the year gone? Oh, it's a Saturday <laughs> Christmas. Oh, that means Boxing Day will be a Sunday. Oh, that means, that means we get, we get an extra bank holiday. Off. Boom. Yes. yes. Oh, we get a nice holiday this year. Nice Christmas holiday. Oh, well, I'll be up here up north uh, by then. So it means we get snow, don't we? Snow Christmas morning, Johnny, isn't it? Normally up here. Brilliant. Yeah, didn't we get some snow up here wow. last year? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward. I've, I, that's one of the... One of the things my kids are most looking forward to about moving up here is the fact that there's going to be snow all the time. Um, that's what they think anyway. I, I do kind of think sometimes they think we're moving to a bit of a different country because <laughs> they, they keep talking about the weather. And uh, my, my daughter, um, oh, she was born in Devon, but she, uh, she's lived in Buckinghamshire all, all her life. So she, she's kind of got, she's sort of got no accent really, I suppose, like me. Uh, and one of the things she said when she said, oh, when we move up north, Daddy, will, uh, will we be able to understand everybody? And will everybody be able to understand us? <laughs> I said, like, we, are, we are moving oh, that's so sweet. within England and we, we, everyone does speak English. <laughs> well, most of most Yeah, people, but you say it? that. I mean, I, well, mind you, not that Adam's from uh, here, but I can't understand Adam. <laughs> Especially now we're all wearing face masks as well. Sometimes try and read his lips. He, Adam's from <laughs> Liverpool. He's got a very strong uh, Liverpudlian accent and sometimes it is quite difficult to understand what he's saying. <laughs> I try and read his lips sometimes, but he's got a mask on now more often than not. So you, you, you say pardon once, I always say. And then the next time you just sort of nod and walk off. Oh no, I just keep saying, no, sorry, still didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I must drive him mad. I go, really? And I go, I'm sorry, Adam. Uh. <laughs> so I'm also just putting in the little berries because we're doing red. I'm going to put the berries on here and then there's another leaf here. So I'm just going to add my little glue, just a touch. I mean, honestly, if you've not got our little precision glue bottles, our fine tip glue uh, applicators, yeah. they are amazing. Uh, and if you uh, do exactly what I do with my little glue bottle you'll never have a blockage yes uh, never want a blockage no debbie right. yeah, robinson's got one of her own one of those now as well it is catching on no no <laughs> she, actually, she's got a glue bottle holder not a blockage i think i use yeah i use the orange on here so i'm going to use the orange because if i remember rightly when i was using the red it didn't shine up as much so i'm gonna go on to here <laughs> that's funny um, that's no lie I did the email was just it earlier and um, yeah the tape pens were just um <laughs> sellouts all over the place apparently on the uh, yeah the, the, the tape, really tape pens, pens. Oh yeah. dear. I didn't get that email obviously you're on more, more important emails than, uh, than me and Johnny we've not heard that news <laughs> we've not heard that news well what it was it was an email so just in case people don't know what they are it's about well, an email no, <laughs> not me. What emails are. <laughs> not the email. <laughs> <laughs> not the email. No. Um, no. Uh, uh, what a poll is. A hole? A pole. Oh, a pole. <laughs> yes. Oh a pole. A pole. <laughs> That's someone from Poland, isn't it? <laughs> it's a product order list. Oh, that kind of that pole. That kind of pole, yeah. yes. Oh, yes. yes. All these terms that we use. <laughs> Actually, I think I did use the red now. Well, now I'm looking at it. I think I've done... We've got Rudolph with an orange nose. <laughs> Rudolph, the orange nose reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, though. We don't mind that. Um, yeah, we have a poll, a product order list, which tells us about things. And there was a lot that had to be changed because the tape pens were selling out. Ah. And it actually says, and we're not expecting them back in until... 
uh, end of September. Ah, I see. Yeah, so um, that's what it was. Got you, got you. Yes. Um, Betsy has just said, I've missed this, but what glue is Debbie using to adhere the glitter? Adhere. Ah! Oh <laughs> Very good, Betsy. You said that earlier, you went, dear, oh dear, and you didn't do anything, and I thought you didn't even realise what you'd said. Did I? <laughs> Yes, well, you did, dear. There you go. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, it's tacky glue. Yes. Yes. And uh, it's not that dear. <laughs> it's not. Um, it's a bargain. It is. Yeah, uh, just tacky glue. Uh, what I would actually recommend, but we don't have time in the uh, craft along, is to let your tacky glue go a little bit more tacky, um, because then it, because the, the more you let your tacky glue dry it dries to a tacky finish so um yeah which is really good um, i feel bad that i'm wasting all some glitter here because i don't really don't want to waste my glitter so what i want to do is put it into a pot yeah so we can just have a mixture afterwards um, so i'm just going to collect all that there whilst you're clearing up uh mary the saying i love sparkle and bling but not a friend of glitter so when glitter card arrived i was very happy um, Cindy says New Year's falls on a weekend as well. Yes, and uh, Gilmore says oh, she, she yes. doesn't say yes. I said the yes. Uh, and Gilmore says Ben Daisy sounds like my daughter. When she was six, she hesitated starting karate because she thought that everyone uh, spoke a different language. So there you go. Lots of love for this um, this demo as well. Sally Joseph just saying this is so amazing, Debbie. Don't forget also if you are just tuning in, you're going ah oh, darn it. I'm, I've, I've missed the craft along. We're halfway through. Uh, you'll be able to watch this back, of course, afterwards, um, whether it's on our YouTube page, our Facebook page. So get the goodies today. Producer Johnny has just told me uh, that loads of you have just checked out your baskets on this collection because you guys are going, well, hang on a minute. I can get the deer and get five more of the designs in there as well. And if I'm shopping in the US, I get free shipping. And I get the sentiment stamps for a penny. What a deal. Uh, £86.36 or $99.15 if you're platinum. Um, so yeah, lots of you are kind of twigging. And that you're also going, you're also <laughs> going, um, I've got a free craft log with this too, which I can use. Uh, the tape pens are, uh, are flying out the door as well. I really wish I hadn't said anything because I need to order myself some and I'm worried now there's not going to be any left. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, have to see, uh, we'll have to see if Susie T's got uh, a, a stash a of uh, tape, tape pens when we go back yeah. to her in New Orleans in a minute. Oh, she's giving a thumbs up apparently. Good, good, that's good news. Yeah, they're so, so amazing, aren't they? They're just a, a very handy uh, item to have in your craft room, aren't they, really? Like yeah, a go -to so tool. Handy. Yep, so handy. Right, so I've just done my leaves there. I think we've done them all. So a few little leaves. And then we're going to use our green. Ooh. Uh, Marge says, these antlers would be cute embossed in the kind of powder that makes things fuzzy. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Um, flocking. It's flock. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yep, flocking. Oh, I've got some more red berries there that I didn't do, but never mind. Yeah, flocking. Um, is that like the um, uh, what's the f what I'm trying to think what, to, what, what I'm like likening that to uh, the fl what was the, what's the sort of same sort of feel like the the bays on a snooker table that sort of feel to it is it flocking it's a bit thicker uh, like a felt that is like a felt yeah what? What? yeah don't know what that oh what's that it's a whistling noise can you hear it out there oh there's a funny noise going off what is that noise it can't be the fire alarm because it would continue, wouldn't it? I don't know. Uh, so is, um, did Susie, was someone just saying theirs is looking a little messy? Oh, what, what, what are Susie? So Who's crafting with us? The oh. only thing I can think of is um, give your glue bottle a shake. It could be the tacky glue because it's water based. Sometimes it can be a bit watery um, and don't squeeze so hard. So right. just let it naturally flow into where it's going into. And le less is more, I guess, isn't it, with it as well, the glue? You what, sorry? Less is more. Less is more, yes. Mm. Because, um, although it didn't make too much of a difference, but I noticed when I was putting it in up here, a lot was coming out, so I stopped squeezing so much. And instead of sort of dabbing on, I started to sort of almost draw it in. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you should be okay. But that's, uh, that's what's going to do it. 
Now there is a, another way that you can uh, stop. So if yours has gone messy, all you need to do is cut yourself another one of the uh, die cuts. So cut one of these and then you can lay it over the top and then it will hide all your splodges out of the edges. Yeah. Uh, Jean is just saying already this looks gorgeous. It's a work of art, isn't it this, Jean? It is really coming together beautifully. But um, hopefully you guys are, are, are seeing how achievable this is. Um, shall, we, shall we stop and have a look at Susie? Well, yeah, let's a have second. a little look because um, Susie T is crafting away with us in uh, New Orleans. So, um, Debbie, maybe you can offer some words of advice here. Well, let's, let us be the judge if this is messy because what I can see in my monitor... That looks really decent, Debbie, it? looks it? amazing. Susie, I don't, I don't even know why you think that looks messy. It looks amazing. So what I'm thinking is, Susie, you just need to wait till it's dry. When it's dry, give that a good flick and all those little edges will tidy themselves up. Now, if they don't, okay. what you want them to do, Susie, is die cut another one of the cars and just overlay it on the top because then it will hide all your edges. All you'll see is the glitter coming through. And I'll show what I mean when we get to uh, layering the deer part up. So, um, but it's yeah. It's more like the little bits of glitter are getting stuck where the dotted tape pen was, like right on the edges of the inside. Uh, yeah, at, once, once it's completely dry, then take a big brush, like one of our background brushes, and brush all over the top, and that should all come away. Or do you have an anti-static okay. bag? I did, I ran the anti-static bag all over it. Once, once it's dry, then rub the anti-static bag over, and, and then all okay. those little things will come away. All your, your glitters that are just holding on will come away. But you've done an amazing job there. It looks beautiful. I love the blue snowflakes. They look amazing. Thank you. Oh, well, this is brilliant, isn't it? Getting uh, Debbie live in your craft room with you. I was just laughing there just for a second because I thought you said you need to get an antler static bag, but you said... <laughs> Anti-static, <laughs> didn't you? Um, <laughs> lovely that we've got Susie T crafting along with us. We'll check in with her again shortly. Doing a great job. If you're crafting along with us as well, don't forget to send us your pictures at the end of the show. Let us know if you are crafting along right now too so we can get ready to see those pictures. Um, Leslie's just asking, Debbie, could you use clear glue instead of tacky glue? Oh, absolutely. And can I just remind you though, tacky glue dries clear. Yeah. So don't think because it's going on white, it isn't. But if you've got glue, 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 clear glue, clear glue. <laughs> um, the only thing is is if you're using like our um, uh, I can't think what it's called um, What's that? Uh, all, all, purpose, all purpose which is a clear glue uh, it's a bit more runnier so when you put it in these bottles it comes out really uh, quickly okay, so. so just be really careful with a clear glue because it is runnier yeah. uh, than what a wet glue is so, okay um, yeah but you can absolutely use whatever glue um, uh, that you want to use so I've done my snowflake um, I'm doing it in a, a couple of different colors so we're going to go in with our blues on the outside so I'm just taking my time to get them uh, sort of all the glue in so I'm quite happy for you to do anything else, uh, Ben. Why? Because everyone will just be uh, just be gluing. Well, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, you can sing, sing dance, the song, do yeah, a bit of a or dance. just recap on what we've got. Uh, I, well, whatever um, you fancy, producer Johnny. What do you What do you fancy? A song, a dance? Oh, he wants a recap. Oh, I knew we'd pick that option. <laughs> knew we'd pick that option. Yeah, I have got jokes? a few. I have got a few uh, new jokes actually. But um, oh, go on, tell us a joke. Uh, have you got any crafting jokes? Uh, any crafting, crafting jokes? Crafting jokes. Oh, have I don't you not know. thought of any crafting uh, jokes? Well, if, I haven't got any crafting jokes. If you guys have got any crafting jokes, you'll have to let us know on the. Um, you have to let us oh, know. Oh yeah, I've heard, I've heard the, the Bee Gees joke a long time. All right, so they're talking about. You've obviously all heard my Bee Gees joke, so I won't do that again then. Wow. <laughs> uh, I've got. I, I picked up a new joke the other day, and I've just got. To, I've just got to think of it. Uh, uh, oh, so um, Debbie. I went, on a, I went on a barging holiday recently. A barging holiday? Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't hire a boat or anything. I just pushed people into the canal. Because <laughs> 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 barging, it's a barge, barging holiday when you go on a canal boat. That's actually funny. Yeah. You don't, don't overdo it. Okay. Don't over egg the pudding, as they say. Okay. Have you heard that in America? Don't over, over egg the, the pudding. pudding. No, okay. Um, yeah, it was funny, Ben. I like that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, um, I, um, I broke down on the motorway the other day. Oh, no. Yeah, my car was fine. I just started crying. Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. That's, that's my journey home. Every single, uh, every single time I leave here, I just start the tears. 
The tears are going to be Producer okay. Johnny's got a joke. We were going to show the boards, but now we're doing jokes. Is this clean, Johnny? Okay, Johnny, Johnny, if you were watching TV last week, Johnny was just saying I was at the Olympics last week. He, he said, he said, <laughs> he said, I saw a man carrying a really long pole over his shoulder. He said, excuse me, are you a pole vaulter? He said, no, I'm German, <laughs> but how do you know my name is Walter? <laughs> hey, Johnny, I love that. There you go. Uh, thank you very much. Good night. Um, right, let's go quickly. Uh, are we going to do the boards now? Are we, are we filled enough? I'll oh, we'll do the boards as well, just in case the bosses are watching. What are they doing? Telling jokes, aren't they showing the boards? Uh, <laughs> Johnny, that was a good one for you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I should definitely use that one. I'm going to use that uh, when I get home. Uh, the, uh, yes, all the goodies that you get within this deal in your Intralace collection. We love this so much. You're seeing, hopefully, uh, the ease of use that you've got with this, uh, the simplicity of use with this as well. Uh, and, you know, you, you, you can be as kind of um, over the top and uh, you know, flamboyant with these dies as you want to be, but like we said, if you are brand new, these are still so applicable to you because the dies, again, are going to do all of that hard work initially for you so that you can simply die cut these. If you want to do a bit of paper piecing, if you just want to add a bit of glitter, add a bit of colour, add a sentiment, you have got the most stunning card straight off the bat and they're all beautiful the, the clue is in the name intralace the intricate detail that you've got within these dies and actually whilst you know the majority of these are Christmas themed with the sweet candy cane so you look at those Christmas bells and you think to yourself well actually you know with a little bit of cutting a little bit of um you know, kind of um, crafting with these, you can use those all year round as well. So there's lots and lots of uses for these. There's the Christmas tree. I think that is my favourite, that joyful Christmas tree. So much as far as the detail is concerned. There, again, here is that beautiful uh, reindeer that we're using. Dashing through the snow is this one, if you want to go for that one. Again, they are available individually for you. They're available on a multi-buy for you too, should you want to go that way. But in my mind, if the budget is um, available today for you, get this collection because you get all of the dies I've just shown you. You're also going to get the stamp set included as well for a penny, all right? This is worth 10 pounds. This is worth $12.95. Um, it's got things like Deck the Hall, Believe, Seasons, Greetings, Let It Snow, Hello Winter, Joy to the World, Noel, and more. So that is yours for a penny. And don't forget, uh, if you go for this bundle as well, which loads of you, I think loads of you are now deciding, well, I've got to get this. These are such versatile dies. You get free shipping. Uh, if you're in the US, so £86.36 Platinum, $99.15, free shipping, stamps for a penny, all of these goodies as well, that's a heck of a buy. But as I've said, if you want to go for the multi-buy, you can do, uh, you can pick up um, a couple of these should you wish, or if you just want to go individually, maybe you've just decided, I want to make the card that Debbie's making right now, I want to just make that one, you can buy these individually um, as well. So there's something for each and every budget, but the majority of you uh, going for this, and as I've said, free shipping, on this collection, so you could get that, add in the Twas the Night Before Christmas card stock as well, and you're not gonna pay the shipping on that either. Uh, let's see how we're getting on over there with our, uh, Debbie, how are you doing? Well, I decided that it wasn't right that Rudolph didn't have a red nose, so I literally just used a piece of tissue to take that out <laughs> and have a red nose. So let's bring in our red. Yep. And also, I've just put the eyes in, so I've put in just the eyes to do a darker, darker, a darker um, sort of this brown colour for his eyes. So just tuck that one away. It might look a bit messy, this one, as I've sort of wiped it all out, but I'm just going to wipe round the edges. Um, just a couple of questions that are coming in whilst you're doing that from yeah, people I think we're just catching up. So Karen says, are you using acetate behind the design? Yes. So acetate is here, as you can see, um, and that's, yeah, stuck onto the back. So we've stuck it all on, make sure that our glue has held that down. And um, there we go. Um, do you have to use acetate underneath or just white cardstock, says Jay Reckham. Oh, you can use whatever you want to. Um, you could use vellum. So anything. So you've got a back for your um, glitter to stick onto. A oh, brilliant. That's all, it, all it's for. Um, and Kathy Lear just saying, hi Kathy, uh, the interlace dies are a beautiful collection. You can certainly tell a lot of thought and work went into bringing this collection to us yeah um, absolutely and thank you terry tom for your joke this is brilliant <laughs> i had a dream i was a muffler and i woke up exhausted 
It's the love play, it's the type of thing. That is oh, really funny. <laughs> <coughs> right, so that's as far as we're going to do our glittering. Yep. And then what we're going to do, we're going to bring in our um, uh, brown deer that we did earlier. So this oh, yeah, is I what I was saying. Yeah. So this is what I was saying that if you um, if you find that it's messier than you wanted it to be, or your glues come out a bit quicker, and you want to tidy up your edges, I would I would say to leave this to dry and then to dust it off. Uh, but if you can't, if you cut out this whole thing again and lay it over the top, which is what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to be very careful because when you put this on can you see it takes away all those rough edges oh, yeah. all you can see so if you did that to the whole piece if you do have a messy background you can absolutely do that but before I do that I need to glue this so I'm going to use my glue dots so I'm going to use the uh, glue dot pen uh, and let's just use this side of our glitter to put them on and then we're going to attach this over the top. So I need to just be careful of that ear because that was the one where I uh, mistakenly cut his ear off nearly. Pardon? Nearly cut the deer's ear off. <laughs> <laughs> and I still answered you even though I knew. <laughs> that was bad, Ben. Naughty, sorry. Naughty Ben. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and then we're just going to go along the bottom here. I'm not worrying about the right at the bottom because we're going to trim this piece to our card. I'm just making sure that all these pieces, especially these end pieces, have glue dots all over them. So we're going to bring that back in and then we're just going to hover over the top. Now, I would absolutely recommend that you let this dry first because it takes a little bit of time to dry. Uh, but I'm just, for, for speed, you can do it. Just be very careful as you're putting it over the top. The good thing is, is that it will fit perfectly because you've die cut it from the same die. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pop those bits into place and then we're just going to manoeuvre. So I am going to use my just my little scissors I've got to hand to manoeuvre that upwards, there we go, to pop that into place. And again, pokey tool probably would have been better. Hold that one in place and then manoeuvre that one over. I'm just being really gentle uh, because of the glue underneath allowing that to dry. And there we go. And I'm not going to push that down too much until that's dry, but I've got that all in place. So we can pop that in there. This is, br I mean, this is brilliant, isn't it? Coming together fantastically. Yeah, it, it, it's just looking amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just rubbing down all those pieces, but it's just that different way. You know, if you want to be that advanced crafter, you can absolutely do that with these. And then all I'm going to do is cut along that edge to take that off, and we get that really neat edge then on the bottom. And there we go, we've got that card. And then we're just going to do our finishing touches now. So I'm just going to make sure I've put all the lids on my glitters. Oh yes, good housekeeping. Absolutely. And then all we've then ne got next to do, we're going to cut our paper to size for the inside and then we're going to do a strip of card and our ribbon at the side um, and uh, and then get our card finished. So, all right. Uh, yeah, it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would actually, Ben. I thought we would get it done within an hour, but it just shows you you need to take a little bit more time just to do that glue in uh, and then you get something that's really fabulous. But we'll have a break there, let everyone catch up on their glittering. Um, so over to you, Ben. Thank you so much, Debbie. <laughs> uh, but this is the whole point, and that's why the craft longs are here. It doesn't matter. You know, we thought it might take an hour. Well, it's taken an hour and a half. It might take an hour and 45 minutes. Whatever way that we can make sure that we get all of the hints and tips across and that you guys know exactly what you're doing and that you can craft along with us will take as long as it takes. I mean, as long as it doesn't take more than two hours, of course. Uh, but listen, uh, let's give you time to uh, catch up. If you've got stuff in your baskets right now as well, uh, this is a brilliant opportunity to check out and uh, to leave you with this for a couple of minutes. Thank you to our Rachel who says, why was the cat afraid of the tree? Because of its bark. Thank you very much. Good night. I'm Sarah from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV home where you can see all of our shows plus exclusive offers and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along you can head on over to our community pages. 
Come say hello, ask us some questions and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule. So don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV. So come join us as we create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. <laughs> so I've just read a message from Valerie which has just come through because um, we were talking about the fact Debbie thought initially that this craft along would only maybe take an hour uh, but Valerie has worked out why it's taken so long because Debbie lost the dye didn't she at the start of the show it took, it took half an hour to find that so that's what it was Valerie I like your thinking <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, an NPL5 on YouTube that says, Debbie, I think this looks very creative and different. It really does. We're loving it so much. Just very quickly, uh, before we finish up, one item that you might want to pop into your basket, which I think a lot of you are doing, uh, those of you who already bought the collection and stocking up, uh, those of you who are perhaps buying this today are... Um, grabbing this as a perfect partner that was the night before christmas card pad collection so we're giving you two 12 by 12 pads and a six by six for a penny um and, and this is the one that really caught your eye as well debbie didn't it you love this collection don't you I, I, I genuinely ben when i opened it i thought it was like our normal glitter our a4 luxury yeah. cardstock but that glitter cardstock in there that that one uh, it is it is light pearlized glitter yeah it's unbelievable it does just just doesn't do it any justice on air you need to get that home and see what i mean and you will know exactly what i mean it is beautiful cardstock i absolutely need to get my hands on that pad you can come and grab it in a minute if you I like. I think I might. I, I, I might get wronged for it, but I, I need that pad in my life. It's beautiful. It is in fact, stunning. I need all three of those pads in my life. Well, you can have, uh, you watching at home can have these in your life because you're going to get the 24 sheets of your uh, luxury mixed card stock. Then you've got your luxury pearl um, card pad in there as well. Uh, again, double sided. So you've got all of those beautiful um, uh, Christmassy pearl colours in there again. Those, of course, uh, match up totally perfectly with the colors that you've got in your um, mix card pad so those two you are paying for so 48 sheets in total there um, 250 GSM uh, and that one that is yeah both 250 but then for a penny we're then then throwing in uh, the pattern paper pad as well and this is the exact replica of the 12 by 12 uh, just in mini form and again what we love about this is the imagery that you get uh, the fact that you've got some pattern papers on there too you've got flex of foiling on there it is one of the most gorgeous gorgeous pads um, so if you do need to stock up grab it now whilst you can if you uh, missed out on these first up, grab it now whilst you can. And remember, you're getting this pad for a penny, which is just ridiculous. £21.59 or $28.74 if you're a Platinum member. Uh, and that one part of our In For A Penny 
in for a pound deal but don't hang around because it is proving really really popular uh, this afternoon right we are into the home stretch here 25 minutes to go let's get back to Debbie so we're just going to kind of um, titivate the card now aren't we we certainly are yeah all those finishing touches to make it giftable to somebody so uh, take your sheet of cardstock it can be anything you want it can be one out of the pad that Ben just showed you uh, this has come out my um, uh, uh, Sarah w Walter, um, oh, not Walter wood one, no. Uh, Woodlet, no. Which no, was the one from last year? Oh, the Wonderland, glittering, glittery, wonder, one, glittery. Oh, winter one. Glittery, glittery snowflake. snowflake. <laughs> 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 the, 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 the winter, the... the <laughs> Winter Wonderland Water Glittering Snowflake. You know Flake. what? Any of them. Anyone will do. Pick a, pick a piece of paper. Yeah, anyone yeah. will be lovely. Um, so what we're going to do is have a piece for our inside. Now, all I would say is just be that sort of mindful of what colours you want to do it. I've picked this one because I thought it would just uh, really go nice with sort of the blues and the silvers and pick up in the background. Um, so try whichever one you like to do. Uh, we're going to be cutting this. So first of all, we're going to be cutting it to uh, five and three quarters so lining that up so we've got five and three quarters and then we're going to be doing it by seven and a quarter so seven and a quarter and that's going to then fit beautifully on the inside of our card we're then going to take another strip and this time we're going to cut this at one inch so just on the one inch mark and following that down to the bottom cutting off that one inch and again, we're going to cut this one though, seven and a half inches. Okay. So, oh, let's get that straight. Seven and a half inches. And that's going to go directly down the side of our card. So that's our two pieces. Pop that out of the way. And bring our card back in. So this first piece is the one that's going to go on the inside of our card. So right to the inside, just here. And we're going to take that down. So just stick that inside and then again and pop that in and I think what we will do Ben, I think I'm going to cut another piece uh, to fit on the inside because I keep saying about how you can cover the inside but I want to show you how we can do that. So I am going to cut another piece off but that's the inside of our car so when we close that. Oh yeah. You can then just see that really That's nice fab. blue down the side. So just make sure that be mindful of what you're... Try it first before you stick it down, just so you know what you're going to get. And not to, if you use something that's really highly patterned, your reindeer's not going to show up very much. Uh, and then we've got our piece here that's going to go down the side here. So that's going to hide all your markings. Uh, and I've also got some ribbon. Uh, I've just tied a bow and then we've got a ribbon to wrap around here, which is going to bring in those red tones as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tape pen. First of all, we're going to pop just some here and here so we can wrap that round. I'm going to start with a little bit here. And then we're going to turn that over because what I want to do is just put a bit all the way down that centre to pop that across and then hold that down. In essence, I know this is taking a little longer than you said, but mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a really, I mean, we've not seen the finished look yet, but it's going to be an unbelievably beautiful card. But oh, in essence, totally. it's, this is really achievable for everyone, isn't it? Really do you know what I mean? There's, no, there's nothing yeah, yeah, I've yeah. like watched you do and gone, oh, I don't really get that. I, I don't, I'm not sure yeah. that I could do that. I, I, I've watched you and gone, yeah, I reckon even I think I could probably absolutely. give that a go at my no. own pace. Yeah, absolutely, Ben. Do you know what? It's what I love about it's one of it's why the craft alongs are my favourite shows. Yeah. Because I even think beginner crafters or crafters that haven't even started, um, they're gonna absolutely love to do these because they're so easy. Not only can you craft along, you can watch back. Yeah. So if you feel like you've gone wrong or you're not keeping up or it's not at your pace, all you need to do is bookmark the show save it uh, and you can watch it back time and time again and do whatever you want to do yeah which is such a good thing to be and, able to do and what's so great about this as well is is you know normally if you think you're a beginner at something and you you do something you'll think well because I'm a beginner beginner mm -hmm. the finished result I will get 
will look like I'm a beginner, will look quite simple. The satisfying thing about our products, though, is that even if you are a beginner, as you're seeing here, there's no way that anyone's going to look at that and go, well, that's quite a basic card. No. You know what I mean? Yeah, you get a professional fi finish. It's you brilliant. You absolutely get a professional finish. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to take another sheet of card and we're going to just trim that down. So I'm just cutting this to five and a half inches. So five and a half. And then we're going to take our die again and let's cut that out. So let's take the die and bring that one out. You got another craft along tomorrow, did Johnny just tell me? Yes, I got another one. Oh. I'm spoiling you, aren't I? No, good job, it's your favourite show. I know it is, isn't it? I think that's why they give them to me because I don't. I love them, absolutely love them. Uh, I've got another one next week. Uh, what day so, is that? Um, I want to say that's me. Monday? Yes. yes, I think that is with yeah. you, Ben. Yes, absolutely. Ah, oh, we're with the team. Back together see. again. Apart oh. from George, he probably won't be with us. Be oh, Charlotte, Charlotte will be back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, yay! But then George won't be here. Oh, boo. <laughs> We yeah, love you all the literally, same. Literally, literally here all week and all weekend. Oh, Shopping no. for the whole weekend. You can't get rid of me this time. Seriously. So you, you're here. What day is it today? The only day I'm not in this week is Friday. Right. So you're here Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and yep. then do you go Monday. Yep. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I don't, I don't want to get too excited. So why? Uh, oh, an interesting oh, game. Oh, interesting on game Saturday. on Saturday on Play Your Crafts, right? Oh, it's a new game, is it? Oh, what oh. is it? Will I say what it's called or not? What's as it called? long as it's not a memory game. Oh, it's called. Apparently, it's called. Hang on a minute. It's called Find the Die. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. What's it called? Oh, it's a spot the difference. Oh, I love spot the difference. Yeah, oh, I love them. Okay. So what I want to show you before I just go ahead and sit this to the inside, this is what I was saying earlier. If you was to cut one of these out and then lay it, so let me find the markings over the top. Look how that tidies that up. Can you see? All your glitter markings, everything in there is completely tidied up. So if that's what you wanted to do until it's dried and then you wipe off all the glitter, you can absolutely do that. But what I wanted to do was tidy up the inside. And by uh, creating another piece to go directly over the top, uh, we can do that. So I'm just going to make sure that all fits beautifully. I'm not going to worry. I could have done it a little bit more to cover this bit up, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, and then I, once I've glued it, I'm going to just try trim the edges so we will uh, put that into place so I'm going to use my dotty tape pen and we will use a piece of card to go on now remember you want to do the right side so glue the right side not the reverse side okay because we want to put that facing down Carol just says creative cards always make me look so talented yes I agree uh, Lynn says Ben I think you should have a go at this card and then share a photo of it I promise you once I've uh, I'm well Hopefully, fingers crossed, I move up here in two weeks' time. Once we're up, once I'm stopped packing up boxes and fretting about all of that, and once we're settled up here, I, I will, that is my task to do more, not just for me, but for my daughter as well, who, who wants to start doing bits and pieces. So uh, let's say towards the end of September, I will start doing a few more bits and pieces and, 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 and share my uh, bits and pieces. Uh, uh, with you. Daisy, yes, yeah, my daughter should come Daisy and do a craft along, craft apparently. Along. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Oh, we get, we could do a kiddie nice. craft along. Yes, that we could do that. That would be fun. Get the kids that in. That would be amazing. Mm. Yeah, that would be okay, amazing. Okay, think about that. And thank you, Pam, as you said, I've finished and sent in the pic. Oh, um, lovely. I've used a wreath and a bit of paper piecing, some metallic markers, and twas the night before Christmas paper pad, um, as it was better than the Winter Wonderland or glittering snowflake pads. So there we go. Whatever you fancy, Fabulous. as I say, this is a bit of a template for you if you want to copy it, uh, you know, um, sort of section by section, you can. If you want to use your own papers, you can as well. But thank you, Pam. Uh, we'll have a look at your picture and any more pictures that we get, hopefully, at the end of the show, if not during Creative Cravings. Absolutely. So I'm just going to go in and just go down where that glitter isn't, just to make sure that is down. And all I'm really doing now is just finishing off the back of that card to make it look really professional. It's just adding that finishing touches. 
to make it look super duper professional. And actually, have we got time? I mean, I know we might have to have another little break, but have we got time to put a sentiment on it? Oh, yes. We got, yeah, we got time absolutely. to do that. Absolutely. So let's do that. So there's our finished card, and then we will come back and do a sentiment. But look how beautiful uh, that card is from start to finish, being able to do that level of intricacy with a die and the inside looking very professional and beautiful. And then we're going to do a sentiment and pop that on the inside, and that's ready to post out for Christmas. Oh, my goodness. How amazing um, is that? Absolutely brilliant. If you've been crafting along with us, uh, we'll give you time to um, get yours finished. Make sure you send in pictures as well. But Susie T uh, in New Orleans has been crafting along. And Debbie, take a look at this. That is fantastic, Susie T. We love that so much. That's amazing. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love that, Susie. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Are you pleased? Glitter in the back so that the little dots I didn't use glitter have glitter in them too. Oh. Have you done the technique before, like adding the glitter like Debbie was doing? No, I haven't. So I'm going to wait for it to dry and then really clean it up. It, I, I think it looks fantastic. 10 out of 10 from me. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, you've done a brilliant job, Susie. Did you enjoy making it? Thank you. I had so much fun, Debbie. This is the first time I crafted along with you. Oh, that's so lovely. Have you done a craft along before, Susie? I have. I did two with Debbie Robinson. I did one with Craig. I did one with Sarah. Oh, oh wow. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's how amazing I'm an is that? Pro. Oh, <laughs> you absolutely are. And I can see that's beautiful. So, and it's lovely to talk to you. I never normally get to talk I to know, people. Right? So, yeah, really lovely. And now I can put a face to Susie T's name. <laughs> Uh, it's been an absolute joy, Susie, and um, obviously, yes, you're, you're, you're a bit of a, uh, a craft along, uh, a craft along uh, veteran now with uh, number five, number six. Are you going to come back and do more of this in the future? Do you think? Absolutely, I love it. So whenever they need someone to fill in, I'm here. <laughs> hey, well, listen, it's an award-nominated show, and I feel like if this I if this if, if this show does That's win, it. then you know, Susie, we'll have to share you know the uh, the award with you as well. We'll have to get you over to the award ceremony. <laughs> and just very quickly before you go, um, we obviously know you love doing these craft alongs, but uh, what would you say to anyone else who's thinking about doing it but uh, they're not quite sure? I keep trying to talk everybody into doing it. Everybody is super nice. It's easy to follow along. If you have any questions, you just shout them out. Great. Hey, absolutely brilliant. Well, Susie, thank you so much. Like Debbie says, lovely to put a face to the name and uh, no doubt we'll probably see you back here on uh, one of these craft alongs or a craft house or something in the very near future. Sounds good. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, Debbie. Bye, Susie. Oh, absolutely brilliant. I love it when we have a, a lovely smiley face. Uh, the other end of the camera and then a brilliant brilliant project to show you as well how good was uh, Susie T's card let us know in the comments if you love that because of course you'll be able to go back uh, and read all of your uh, comments about her card as well uh, Aisha just saying uh, what products are you going to be doing on the craft alongs Debbie I know next Monday we're doing the uh, large Christmas edibles, the Christmas are, word edibles, yes. aren't we that's yeah, Monday yeah. next week what's yeah. tomorrow uh, tomorrow is the dimensional Christmas dimensional scene so we're going to be doing a sort of winter to see looking through the window oh okie yes. dokie um well listen very quickly i know we've got to put the sentiments yep. onto mm -hmm. the uh, yep. onto the card but just quickly again to remind you of this collection uh loads of you now checking out your baskets and grabbing it i am not surprised because you get all of uh the six dies included and you get the free shipping on it. You get the stamps as well, the sentiment stamps for just a penny, which is phenomenal. Um, so £86.36 if you're platinum, $99.15 uh, if you're shopping with us in the US, but free shipping, don't forget. And uh, again, remember, if you've loved the technique that um, Debbie's shown you just then, maybe you are quite new, of course you can um, you know, transfer that to all of the other different designs that you're gonna get here within this collection um, as well. So it, it's entirely up to you, but I truly believe that once you've got this back you will just be filled with so many creative ideas and you will not be stuck for amazing Christmas cards this year um, and indeed Christmas cards for many many years to come as well those are all of the different designs that you're going to get don't forget as well uh, 19 stamp sentiments that you'll get in this collection too that's worth 10 pounds 12.95 it's yours for a penny within this collection and free shipping for our US friends too 86 36 99 15 and if I can be so bold as to say 
whack those in your basket as well because you get uh, the six by six paper pad for a penny. That's a perfect partner for this collection uh, for an extra 21 pounds or 28 dollars. Right, let us uh, finish off the uh, beautiful card with a uh, lovely little sentiment. Just in case anybody uh, doesn't like glitter, because I know there's lots of people that don't like the mess, they don't like glitter, uh, and I do also know people that have a bit of a phobia about yeah. it, they don't like to touch it. If you do want to do a card that's just like this without the glitter, that paper pad that Ben had, the 12 by 12, which has the glitter cardstock, all the pieces that we've glittered today cut out. So you could cut this die multiple times on that glittered cardstock, and then paper piece, piece those pieces back in. That's a lovely so Exactly the same, put your glue in like we've done, but actually just paper piece those pieces back in. So you can still have a glitzy card, but without the mess. So, Lovely. Uh, and, and actually, um, although I love glitter, I would have done that, but that takes even longer because you've got so many die cuts that you have to do. But a really nice way to do it if you don't like um, the actual glitter itself. So I've just got a piece of card here. It's quite a big piece of card. So I should have trimmed it down. Uh, but I'm just going to add this to my stamping platform. Platform. Uh, I always, it's my favourite platform to use. I love this one and I've just took our Merry Christmas uh, and I've done it so I can um, just make a couple of layers in my card to, uh, to pop that on. So I'm just lining that up inside and then we're going to pop our top on. Just going to make sure that's straight. Could do we're coming down a little tiny bit. That looks better. Just going on there, that's it. Let's pick that up and then we're going to stamp that onto our um, onto our piece of card and it then will just give us our sentiment for the center now i'm doing it quickly because i know that we haven't got that much time before the end of the show but you could heat emboss this you could do it in any color that you wanted to do it in uh, i'm just stamping in a black so it's nice and bold on the inside i've got my merry there the end of the stamp which i obviously didn't press down on i'm just going to press on that that end bit to do that. oh it's created a little bit of a shadow there because i only pressed one bit down but it looks quite funky so we're going to have that and we're going to trim that down. I'm also going to mat and layer it with some of the cardstock inside. So let me pop that in and bring in the guillotine. Now, obviously, you can do whatever uh, one that you, whatever uh, stamp set you want to, or whatever um, you could actually, if you were um, confident enough to stamp directly onto your sheet of cards, you could do that. Yeah. But if you're not, then make yourself a little topper to go on the inside of your card. So I'm just trimming this down, making sure we've got that. Yeah, looks pretty straight. And then on the end there. And then what I'm going to do is trim this piece of card and have another rim around the edge. And I am doing this all by eye, so as you can see, just pop it down, have that on, and then just uh, cut it to where you want that rim to be. Yeah. So just going down there. So this gives me this part, but I then also, I'm going to bring this card back in and do the same with this. So it just creates a 3D topper in the center because we've already put this, ca this card, start this paper on the inside. So I just need that to have that white rim. So a nice easy way just to get that rim around the edges. So beautiful are these dice, says Laurie, as is the paper. Yeah. I haven't had time to play just yet, but I'm saving the video for some great hints. And talk about this for timing. Rhonda Fagan on Facebook has just said, my order with these dies has just now showed up at the front door. That's wow. what you call time, isn't it, eh? <laughs> Absolutely. That's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to pop these two on here. So just using our tape pen. Yeah, and thank you. I know you, I keep uh, saying thank you, but it's amazing that we're up for an award for no. Craft Along, considering we haven't been going very long. Uh, so thank you. And if you haven't voted, please go onto the website. It's for Craft Beautiful Award uh, and give us a vote because it would be amazing if the Craft Along and any of the other 11 awards that we're up for. Can you believe that? For, I, like honestly. For the amount of time that the, the channel's been going, yeah. let alone the Craft Along. It it's literally melts my heart, I know, Ben. I think too. it's amazing. We have the best customers out there, the best crafters. Uh, we're very lucky. 
uh, really and then are. to be up for awards. I mean, we couldn't wish for anything better, could we? And it's, it's some of the. I, I love the fact that you know this little show's been nominated. I love the yeah. fact as well our customer service that really makes yes. me smile because you know so many times you read all oh, terrible customer service from this company or you know uh, rang up and they couldn't help me. But you guys obviously say our customer service is great. Yeah. Uh, you know our, our machines are up for awards. Our crafters are up for awards. It's Do you know what I awesome. loved as well? The one was for Leanne. Yeah. For um, product uh, development because um, it really doesn't always like Leanne has a team I know that but for her to have that award uh, to her name is so amazing and she is so grateful for that it's yeah. amazing you got until but, the 24th of September I think to vote but look at that by doing the inside and just layering them up it looks so professional so we've got our beautifully finished card on the inside we've got our lovely sentiment ready to go uh, and then we've got our reindeer card and there you go there's our craft along finished i so hope you enjoyed it as much as i did i really enjoyed putting this together uh, i love a bit of glitter i'm going to be covered in glitter for days i'm sure um but yeah show us your makes that would be amazing yeah get your makes in show us your pics um, i know pam's already sent hers in uh, we've obviously seen Susie t's as well what's Susie t brilliant she's just said thank you ben and debbie um i really enjoyed this craft along uh do comment as well let Susie t know how much you enjoyed her appearance on the show and as we said, if you have been crafting along with us, uh, you can send in those pictures. Uh, potentially not going to get loads of time before the end of the show to show them now, uh, but we will have a look. And Pam, uh, yours and the others that we get, we will show at uh, 7 o'clock on uh, Creative Cravings. But you can email us in right now, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk, and we'll have a look at all of those pictures uh, a little bit later on. But like we said, the great thing about this show is is that um, if you have just joined us, the Craft Along will be uh, available on our Facebook page, but go to YouTube, subscribe to Crafters TV, uh, and then you can watch this Craft Along back whenever you like. So for Rhonda, for example, who's literally just received her bundle, uh, you can get the bits and pieces out, uh, get everything that you need to get going, and then watch this Craft Along back at a time that suits you. Uh, but grab this collection, and if you are still sat on the fence, you're thinking, oh, shall I, shan't I? Am I gonna grab it? Uh, Debbie has got some more finished samples over the other side of the studio, just showing you a, a little bit more what you can do with some of the other dyes that you've got within the collection. And she's starting off with Craig's favorite, the candy canes. You know what I love about them? Look how this one looks. We've got two on one card. I mean, that looks incredible. This beautiful Christmas tree looks absolutely amazing. And, and then you've got that paper piece candy cane on the opposite side. So make sure you stock up on your acetate because that's going to come in so handy with these. Look at this one. Being able... Oh, Ooh, upside, upside down, down tree. tree. There you, <laughs> go. you can buy upside down trees, can't you? Have you seen them? What? You, you put them on your ceiling. No, you don't. That, that is true. <laughs> you put People, a Christmas yeah, tree on your so ceiling? It, so they, yeah, so it doesn't take up space in their living rooms. They put them upside down, it hangs downwards. <laughs> Do you not get covered in pine needles, though? Do you? Well, I don't think they're real. Oh. <laughs> they're an artificial <laughs> tree. <laughs> My mum and dad used to have a wall, some wall trees, so you'd like literally hook them to the wall and they were just flat-backed. Don't the baubles fall off it? No, they were flat. <laughs> no, of the one that you hang upside down. How do you decorate just it? They hang upside down, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, if you've ever had an upside down tree, yeah, send a picture. It's a thing, Ben. It's a thing. Are you riding me up? No, it's true. It's true. <laughs> In the world we live in, Ben, you can't be that shocked. No. <laughs> what do you think spacemen do? <laughs> you are so silly. They're <laughs> oh, John, you can't believe they do in Australia. <laughs> yeah, of course, everything's upside down in Australia. Sarah, from Australia, can you send us in a picture of your Christmas tree, please? Oh, dear. Uh, Michelle says, well, yeah, when do you put the presents then? You stick them to the ceiling as well. I can't get me present. Well, you'd probably stick them still under the tree. They'd just be on the floor. You'd have more room to put your presents, wouldn't you? Because the tree would be up that way. <laughs> Keep the, no, we keep the cats off upside down. No, you have to put them on the ceiling as well, of course, don't you? You guys are somewhere else, I'll tell you what. Anyway, carry on with your anyway, upside down trees. Anyway, more samples, yeah. These are not upside down anymore. <laughs> I put the right way. Having a dome front on there with your acetate. Uh, another one, just using that stag. Look how gorgeous that looks. Again, putting it on acetate, but having it centralised in that tree. Just inking through it looks amazing. I think this one looks stunning navy blue gold and red i mean that is 
opulent, isn't it? Look at the detail in mm. there. So much beautiful detail. That is one of my favourite cars. I love simple, simple cars, but look absolutely stunning. Uh, another great one. So having that wreath uh, into the front of the card. But look at this one. This is what I was saying about paper piecing. That's All phenomenal. the pieces in here have been paper pieced yeah. back in. Uh, this one is from Maxine. Honestly, Maxine, I know Maxine's been on the show. How incredible is that? And I'm going to show one more tree of what you can do with that. We'll just put in some mirror card behind. Um, there we go. And just in case you have an upside down tree. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> looks just as beautiful, whichever way you have it. Seriously. <laughs> uh, Lynn says on Facebook, Ben, there are definitely upside down trees. I've seen them, but just don't understand why you would want one. I'm the same as you, Lynn, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, Maureen just says, that was an awesome craft long, Debbie. I can't wait to do it. Thank you so much. Thank you to Debbie. Thank you to you guys as well for uh, joining in with us. If you have crafted along, send those pictures in and we will show them during uh, Creative Cravings a little bit later on uh, in around about a couple of hours. In fact, uh, big thank you to Rachel who's been keeping us right on the socials. Thank you to the uh, guys in the gallery as well who will be back with us uh, later on for Creative Cravings. And if you've enjoyed this show and the bargains, we've got more um, in for a penny, in for a pound deals coming up for you. We've got more uh, free shipping items for you and we've got more better Best ever prices on the way for you as well. Big thank you to uh, Debbie uh, McGiggles over the other side of the studio. Uh, once you fantastic, and a big thank you to you. Thank you to Susie T as well, who was brilliant with her um, make that she did on our craft along. And uh, make sure you check out your baskets. We'll be back in just a couple of hours' time. But for now, uh, we will see you in just a bit. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>